Hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not investment advice. So this video is another deep explanation video and this video will be about binary options, price action strategies, candlestick psychology and binary option trading. I will show you my Friday morning session where I have traded. I will show you those kind of concepts which I have covered in my ebooks. Uh, more in detail because I'm applying those kind of trades which I have explained in my ebook, in my video packs, and in my uh, yes, uh, in my bot mentorship program that are always the same concepts, all explained in detail in the price action bible. Yes, I will cover this also later. And uh, yes, before we are going to start, I want to show you this kind of chart here. That is the Friday evening closing. A chart of the euro usd yes and the next candle the, which this one which will happen on monday morning will be most probably what yes exactly a weak bullish candle why a weak bullish candle yes because of the consolidation area between the 200 and the 100 ma price is in trapped in this the only problem here is that we have flat EMAs. Flat EMAs mean that the price can break through each and every EMA whenever it wants. That means that if you want to do a trade, yes, you have to wait that this candle is going above the 200 EMA and on the rejection from the 200 EMA you are entering into a put trade. Yes, or you wait that this candle is going to touch each and every EMA here. And if you understand from which kind of EMA price is rejecting you can do then a call yes uh, that is also possible it depends everything from that running candle but uh, the prediction is that the next candle will be a bullish uh, weak bullish candle in between of the EMAs. so you see where a market is closed and you know I'm a European trader I do not have all this OTC market the OTC market available so I'm doing this kind of deep explanation videos about binary option trading candlestick psychology and binary option price action strategies videos always on weekend and today is the time so but before we are going to start with the real chart which you can uh, request by sending me an email with the subject chart chart 13 or you can find the link to the Instagram account where I publishing each and every of my charts um, where you can download it too yes okay that is this one but before I'm gonna start with this kind of binary option trading candlestick psychology binary option price action strategy video yes I will uh, I have to cover some questions which I get frequently every day uh, I get those kind of uh, uh, emails where people ask me the same stuff over and over again and that is the reason why I have to cover this so as I hope that someday those kind of questions will finish so first of all the bot price action guide the bot price action guide is the basic stuff that means you need the bot price action guide if you don't have it get it because this is the basic stuff of that what I'm telling uh, since two years now nearly two years not even one year and a few months um, and six months but that is the same stuff what I'm telling that one year and six months yes and uh, this is the basic stuff you see that are 120 pages um, illustrations yes uh, with detailed illustrations about how to trade binary options all kinds of financial instruments forex cryptocurrencies stock market yes based on price action yes that are binary option price action strategies uh, or price action concepts you can call them like you want and you see how detailed it is engulfing candle here here we have uh, uh, the stick sandwich pattern yes and here we have the no uh, the highest probability trading setup which i will cover today in this kind of video i will cover the uh, um the highest probability trading setup i will cover fake breakouts which you see here yes you see fake breakouts then uh, dark cloud cover morning star pullbacks uh, box range breakout rejection process of elimination that are all those kind of topics which i try to cover in this kind of uh, uh, um, live uh, deep explanation video about my live trading on friday morning and uh, you see this is a price action guide this is a fundament this is the book which you should invest your money in to gain the knowledge you need to own the market yes that is a price action guide 120 pages 
illustrations, okay? That is number one. Then I get the question, what is the difference between the Bot Price Action Guide and the Bot Price Action Bible? First of all, the color. Yes, the Bot Price Action Bible is white, the Bot Price Action Guide is black. And what is the difference? The main difference is that the Bot Price Action Bible has 270 pages yes, of price action uh, um, strategies, price action binary option, price action strategies and concepts. That's price action concepts which are the same, which are illustrated in the bot price action guide, but with the difference that we have here a nice explanation of each and every candlestick pattern, chart pattern and binary option to the trading concept. Yes, that and also those kind of concepts which are explained here can be applied to any kind of financial instrument, Forex, stock exchange, uh, cryptocurrencies, wherever you want this or yes um, and uh, this kind of concept can be applied everywhere each and every time frame and each and every time uh, broker yes and uh, there are those questions which i get often can i use it for the five minute time frame can i use it for the 15 can i use it for cryptocurrencies yes these are price action concepts that can be used everywhere yes and the main difference apart from the uh, explanations which are really uh, really um, a lot yes where i tell you exactly what you have to do is that each and every chart pattern candlestick pattern and so on is explained in the bot price action bible detail you see here criterias how to trade what you not should do yes your entry points your support and resistance you get here everything on your silver spoon everything what you need to own the market the right way if you are able and if you are willing to study those things which i have explained in the bot price action bible you find the link to this both ebooks in the description if you don't find the link to in the description to the ebooks then you don't deserve them that is so easy okay that is this one the next one is the bot the mentorship program self-study modules those one are the really core knowledge the instant access to my core knowledge which i have gained in years of experience you see i have done now a video video series it's called uh, price action trading hints this kind of video series ex uh, explains exactly those kind of videos which i have in the video pack that are deep explanation videos about trades which have done my students uh, you will learn from their mistakes you will learn from my experience yes and uh, everything together will improve your trading style immediately yes after you have watched the um, this kind of video pack yes a video pack one is for the beginner video pack two is for the moderate one yes a video pack three is for the advanced one and the video pack four are uh, is, uh, for those one who are nearly profitable full-time and part-time trader yes because they are st uh, that are levels of my students in the bot mentorship program so you get really real trades real explanations really fundate fundated stuff yes those kind of knowledge which you need to um, to own the market and to make an income out of the market based on those concepts yes and everything is explained in detail obviously before you get uh, before you uh, purchase the uh, video pack one two or three or four please get the bot price action bible or the bot price action guide you can decide what you need yes if you have time you can watch the videos and use the bot price action guide if you have no time yes and you cannot watch the videos uh, or you don't understand then get the price action bible because there's everything explained and that will close the circle yes it will close the circuit about uh, those kind of things which i'm telling in the video packs and those kind of things which i have explained in the ebook so and then the last uh, the, um, the last but not least one yes we, that is the uh, bot mentorship program you will find the, uh, the way to uh, contact me you can send me an email with the um, with the uh, subject bot mentorship program to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com you can see this here and then you can uh, do enroll the application process yes the application process is eight steps and those eight steps uh, conclude and eight, uh, uh, contains each and every concepts which is important to become a successful consistently profitable full-time and part-time trader and there you will see already if you are done to make it to a pro or not depending on 
how you pass through it. The price of the bot mentorship program depends highly from your application process. Whether you pass through the application process, uh, less will the bot mentorship program plan cost you. Yes, the fee for it. Uh, and uh, that is what I got almost often this question. How many does this bot mentorship program cost? It depends mostly from your application process. That means whether you go through it, but less you will pay and uh, more you will gain. So that is this one. Yes, you can still join the bot mentorship program. You can send me an email to my uh, email address, botobotrader at gmail.com with the subject bot mentorship program. Yes, and then I will um, uh, then I will send you the application process. Yes, and then it's up to you that if you answer me the questions which I'm asking you, um, which are mostly technical, yes, and are referring to those kind of stuff which I have explained in my ebook. So it means if you have my ebook and you have to read it, some pages of the ebook, you will make it through the application process for sure, because each and every concept which I'm asking is not, I'm asking not uh, incredible things, impossible things. I'm asking in general those kind of stuff which I'm teaching you since one year and half yes that is what uh, this is about i'm telling you this what i'm telling you one year and a half i never came up with some kind of indicator i never have to, uh, uh, ex uh, explain to uh, what you have to do like a call a call uh, all after the crossing of EMAs or something. No, I'm telling you since one year and a half, only the best price action stuff, yes, um, concepts which are sometimes really obvious, yes, but so many traders do not respect them, do not trade like them, and then they're asking them why I'm losing money. You are losing money because you are missing, the missing piece is that you don't have discipline and you don't have the, um, the capacity to apply those kind of concepts which I have have explained uh, really really easy also a six-year-old guy could understand those kind of things yes he needs only to see the, the errors and understand what he has to do call or put depending on it applying some concepts entry point concept yes and retracement back to key level concept and then everything is uh, done yes so get into the bot mentorship program if you want a mentor like me yes which is teaching you how to become become a successful consistently profitable part-time and full-time trader or full-time trader yes and if you have not the time get the video pack one you will be surprised how it will improve your trading uh, that are one, the first video pack one has 104 videos which will uh, open your mind and will increase your tra trading style uh, and improve your trading style dramatically yes so then the bot price action bible the fundament the, without this one you don't need even to watch this video now because at the end everything what i'm explaining here is based on those kind of concepts which i have explained in the bot price action guide and in the bot price action bible so and now we are going to start and get into the jump into the trades which i have done on friday morning so but before this i want to show you again the bot price action guide you will see here that are 120 pages of uh, full of concepts you see here everything from candlestick patterns yes, mindset series at the beginning as yes, here we have the mindset series then we are getting into the chart candlestick patterns yes here we have each and every candlestick pattern which are important you know there are more than 300 candlestick patterns but i have to taken out only those one which are highly profitable which are highly reliable when those one which will appear also someday yes because it doesn't mess it doesn't help you if you are learning candlestick patterns which are happening every once a year what are you waiting for yes uh, do you want to wait one year for a, a candlestick pattern no they learn only those ones which are the most important one and those are that are those ones which i have explained in the bot price action guide and in the bot price action bible after this we are we have one bar candlestick patterns we have two bar candlestick patterns we have three bar candlestick patterns and we have here also multi bar candlestick patterns which are getting into the chart uh, pattern yes which are chart patterns like double top double bottom triangles and so on you see we have here anything uh, everything from wedges to um, panels about uh, flags and uh, all those kind of stuff because they make part of trading and you should know those kind of price action concepts. 
So, and then we start here on this part with about the candlestick mass and those kind of price action concepts and price action strategies, yes, about trend and all those kind of stuff, which are nearly 120 pages of full illustrations, no rejection trading setup, psychology of the market, progression of the candles, where the pressure is coming from, what uh, analysis should be, where support and resistance levels will be drawn, uh, entry point and uh, prediction of the next candle, market condition, uh, Fibonacci level and correlation between uh, um, assets and obviously what the trend is about, about what the wigs are telling you about the trend. Yes, and obviously the bot mentorship program and my so well known bot sure shot one to eight. Yes, uh, there are some more which are coming soon. I'm working on them. Yes, and I will explain them more in detail. This is the price action guide. And now let me give you some short introduction to the bot mentorship, not to bot mentorship, to the bot. Uh, price action Bible so that you see the difference again so that I get less questions about this Okay, the what price action Bible is this one and you can see here that are 200 pages 270 pages More than the double of the previous pages here. We have 286 now. Yes, because it's uh, It's obviously uh, increasing and you see here everything explained in detail here about sure shot Yes, bought sure shot eight explained in detail. This is what you get on the price action guide. Yes, the bought sure shot eight, both the put and the call option, and then you get in the price action bible the exact explanation how you have to do the puts, and here you have to see how you have to do the call. Yes, enter only into a call when. Yes, and that is all that kind of stuff which I have explained here is this kind of stuff which I have explained in the bot price action bible. Everything is explained in detail in a simple English because I get so many questions from traders. Do you have this in my mother language? Do I understand this? My English is weak. Uh, can I understand this? Yes, you see, it's really easy. Price is below major key level. You put this into the translator, yes, and you know what's about. Market ranging, major trend ranging, minor trend, strong uptrend. That are only a few words and then a sentence how you have to do the trades. I want to show you some other stuff here, uh, some other concepts and so, uh, so that you understand the difference between the bot price action bible and the pro bot price action guide. Yes, you see everything is explained in detail, 270 pages uh, full of price action trading strategies and concepts which can be applied and which will help you to own the market. You see here what kind of candlestick pattern do we have here inside bar. Now here we have a bearish harami. This is what you get on the price action guide and that is what you get on the price action bible. Exactly how it looks has to look like the pattern psychology, support and resistance, entry point and how to trade and how not to trade. Okay, so that was the first introduction in this and now we are going into the live chart which I have traded on Friday morning. And uh, yes, I have prepared already something. Uh, you see, we are coming from an uptrend. Yes, we are getting weak bearish candles, which are doji likes. Yes, the last candle which I have drawn was this kind of low volume candle, uh, which uh, didn't move anywhere. We have a support level, which is uh, close to the round number of the 1.1366. And after this candle, what I have done, I entered into a call trade below the closing price of the previous candle, which is in this case this doji. I have explained this often and I'm telling this my students also. And that is the first thing what you have to remember. If you have a doji light candle before, try to get below or above the closing price of the previous doji into a trade because it's easy that another doji will follow and you need a margin of safety. And if you have a close le a, cl um, um, a key level close to the um, closing price of the previous candle, then try to get at least into a call option at the key level itself. So on the next candle I entered into a call trade uh, on the rejection from the round number because I saw here this kind of support level and the next candle was this. 
Okay, that was the next candle. You see, we have here a morning star pullback from this kind of round number in the MINA uptrend. Yes, uh, after a pre long downtrend, you can see this on the live chart. We have a Bollinger squeeze. That means that we are coming here. The Bollinger squeeze we got here in some kind of ranging market. And here we have this kind of rejection here from the middle Bollinger band and from the round number and on the rejection from it i'm entering into a call now here started now the um, process of uh, the uh, no the highest probability trading setups that one here yes look at this we got a downtrend we got a reversal signal in form of an evening the morning star and after this morning star we are entering into a call trade yes and now we have what exactly an uptrend that is what happening here. I'm doing the same stuff over and over again. So now we are expecting here an uptrend, but I do not enter immediately into the next candle because this candle is not breaking the higher height of the previous candle. So we are here still into a box range. And so I will not do the next trade. The next tra candle was this. Okay, that was the next candle. After this candle, yes, I could have uh, done a call option because this was here now a breakout of this box range. But I didn't have entered in this kind of trade because I was waiting that this candle, the next candle was breaking through the one deviation Bollinger Band. This broke through the one deviation. You can see this on the live chart. But uh, I would need a confirmation that this would be not a fake breakout because we got a consolidation area here. So I waited for the next candle. Patience is key, yes. And so I waited for the next candle. The next candle was this. So, and after this candle, yes, I entered into a call trade. Yes, I entered into a call trade following the MINA uptrend. That is important, which was initiated by this morning star, which was confirmed by the following candles that we are still in an uptrend. This candle here has broken the one deviation Bollinger Band and so I entered on the next candle into a call trade on the rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band. Look at on the live chart, you can find it in the, on the Instagram account or you can send me an email with the subject chart 13 yes, and I will send you this kind of chart and you will see what I mean. So here the next candle was this one. That was this one, let me draw this. So I entered on the call trade, yes, on the rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band and entering in a trend continuation. That is important that you do this. Please do not do reversal trades without confirmation that there will be a reversal. Yes, because mostly you have to follow the trend if you have understood that there is a trend based on those kind of concepts which here yeah, this kind of binary options price action strategies which i have explained here on the how to spot the highest probability trading setup and the high probability techniques yes uh, that is explained here you get a reversal signal follow the trend yes don't do the opposite i have so many students which are doing the opposite is, there is no reason to do a put they're doing puts so on the next candle i didn't enter because i was uh, waiting um, because I didn't know what happening because we were still in a ranging market we touched the two deviation boiling up and a reversal can happen at any point so on the next candle I waited because I was not sure what happening and the next candle was this so and after this I entered into a call trade yes um, after this candle because this candle has broken has broken the um, the round number, yes, we are still in uptrend. We got here also the break of this higher high, which we already got uh, before. Here we have something what looks like a J hook pattern, yes, on lower time frame. You can see this because you see the price goes up, goes down, and then it goes up again. So after this candle, I followed the uptrend and I entered on a call option below the closing price of the previous candle. And I have done a call option as a trend continuation explained on the highest probability trading setup on the ebook. Okay, so let me see this. Okay, that was the next candle. Uh, on the next candle, I didn't enter into a trade because this candle here was showing me selling pressure. Yes, we have already a pre long uptrend. We have no bearish candle. That is already a sign that there will maybe come up some kind of retracement soon. Yes, the upper shadow is showing me selling pressure. And so I just didn't decide to enter into a trade on the next candle. And the next candle was this. 
So that was the next candle, yes. And after this candle, after this candle, I didn't enter into a trade too because I was still not sure if this will be happening here in some kind of reversal. You see, this candle has created a higher high, has created a higher low. So at the end, it was still in an uptrend. So I didn't enter into a reversal trade, but a lot of traders would have done maybe, yes. I waited for the next candle uh, to see what happening. Yes, and the next candle was this. So, and after this candle, it's a clear sign, and that is was a question from for some of my subscribers and one of my students. How do you recognize an exhaustion candle? This is an exhaustion candle. You have a pretty long uptrend, and you get a candle which is bigger than all candles before at the end of a trend. Yes, that is and it stops at the key level. In this case, it was this kind of round number. It didn't broke uh, through it uh, with determination, um, and the upper shadow is showing selling pressure. Yes, and uh, that was the reason. And this was already showing weakness in the trend. Yes, that is what you have to understand too. So on the next candle, I entered into a, a tracement trade, reversal trade call it whatever, after an exhaustion candle, yes, and that was already my fourth trade in a few minutes in this kind of uptrend. If you get such kind of uptrend, which is based on a reversal pattern like I have explained in the no, uh, in this highest probability trading setup, follow the trend, trade in the trend direction till you get a signal, yes, an exhaustion candle is a signal that there is, uh, that, the, that the trend has lost steam, that the moment, the losing momentum, and that's the case that a reversal can happen. And on the next candle happens this, I have done a put option where exactly above the closing price of the previous candle, and it was this candle. Okay, that was the next candle, a dark cloud cover, yes. So I traded this exhaustion candle here and have put the put here. Uh, that was a dark cloud cover and after this dark cloud cover, because we have here again this kind of highest probability trading setup scenario, we got here a dark cloud cover. Here we have an engulfing candle, but the dark cloud cover is the same signal like a engulfing candle, a bearish engulfing candle. And so I entered into the trade on the next candle, on the rejection from the support and resistance level, in this case a round number, into a put. I don't know how I can explain this better. Here, from the rejection from this level, I entered into a put following the new upcoming downtrend. Yes, that is this one. So let me see, uh, let me show you that, uh, the next candle. So that was the next candle, yes. And because this candle didn't cross this level here, I was not sure what happening, so I didn't enter into a trend continuation after this candle. And I waited for the next candle because a process of elimination could have uh, happened. Yes, because this week showing buying pressure. Yes, uh, but we have a minor downtrend initiated by this dark cloud cover after a prolonged down uh, uptrend. So uh, a bearish candle could follow, but because this candle was not strong enough, I waited. Yes, to understand what's happening, and uh, on the next candle happened that. Uh, one second. Yes, and on the next candle, I accept, happened exactly that what I have explained in my ebook. After the reversal pattern, you get a retracement candle with a higher, uh, bigger upper shadow, which is showing selling pressure in this case. Yes, and then you're entering into a trend continuation. Uh, but I have done this in this case because uh, the process of elimination looked uh, looked like the process of elimination, and I was not sure. I needed a rejection from the round number. The price hasn't given me the rejection from the round number, so I didn't enter into a trend continuation. And because I expected here a uh, process of elimination, price uh, I expected that price would go up because this was showing buying pressure. Yes, but because the MINA downtrend initiated by this uh, dark cloud cover was pretty strong, the next candle finished like this. Yes, and uh, that uh, was the candle how it finished. Yes, and you see. This candle here is getting now in some kind of consolidation area. It doesn't unfold like expected. This kind of candle goes down to the round number, close to the round number, got a rejection which is showing the buying pressure which you were seeing here, but the buying pressure was not strong enough. Yes, so that the MINA downtrend has um, uh, more control about uh, the market and has pushed the price lower lower than the closing price of the previous candle instead also or also if there was more buying pressure based shown you by this kind of candle wick here yes okay so then then i was in this kind of consolidation area and i can only tell to everybody 
uh, to stay out of it till they got some kind of evidences of reversal and the next candle was this so the next trade would have been a nice call because this candle got a rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band again. This got a showing that we have buying pressure. That was a retracement of this new upcoming uptrend based on this uh, pin bar. Yes, uh, but I didn't end up on the next candle. But if you were to trade this, I can tell this over and over again like I told this already before. If you are entering into a trade after a doji, what are you doing exactly? You are entering above or below the closing price of the previous candle. And if you are don't getting a better entry point in this case, don't trade the candle after the doji. And you see why? Because the next candle was this. So that was the next candle, yes, and after this candle which closed um, above the one deviation Bollinger Band, after this weak candle, which was showing buying pressure, I entered on the next candle into a call option from below, below the closing price of the previous candle and I have done a call option. Let me show you the next candle. So that was the next candle. After this candle, I didn't enter into a trade. Why? Because we have now here a morning star. This morning star is in an uptrend and uh, what I have explained so often and I have told this also my students, if you get a reversal pattern, yes, in a trend continuation, that means if you have an uptrend and you get a morning star, then you have to expect a retracement after this morning star. If you have an evening star in a downtrend, then you have to expect a retracement uh, after this evening star and then the trend continuation. Yes, and uh, that is what I have explained so often and also on this kind of concepts which I have explained here. Yes, this retracement after reversal pattern. Let me show you this more in details because I have shown you this often but not enough. You see here. If you get a morning star in an uptrend, then it will happen this here for sure. If you have an evening star in a downtrend, then this will happen here for sure. Yes, because uh, this kind of uh, reversal pattern pullbacks are mostly a sign that price uh, that the trend has lost momentum. Yes, and uh, that is what I tried to explain so many of my students and uh, so many of my subscribers. So on the next candle, I didn't enter because I was expecting what exactly a retracement. Yes, here we are talking about a reversal. Here we have a retracement after this morning star in a major uptrend. Yes, and in a mini uptrend, pre-long uptrend retracement continuation yes so but before the continuation because we are far away from, from the two deviation body band we get here what exactly a retracement so uh, i didn't enter in this kind of trade and i waited for the next one the next one was this yes and you see price retraced back to key level yes this key level of this uh, morning star and on the next candle i entered because this candle stopped exactly on the key level into a call trade yes um, as a trend continuation of this new upcoming uptrend after the morning star pullback from the one deviation Bollinger Band. Yes, but important is that before this, I didn't trade it this kind of retracement here, which was a retracement back to key level. Yes, that is so often traders get trapped by this because they cannot wait for it. Yes, they're entering immediately after morning star into a call trade instead of waiting uh, and looking if there is so many ranging markets that there could be a retracement. So I entered into a call trade below the closing price of the previous candle for the next candle. And the next candle was this. So that was it. And that were all the trades which I have done. After this, we could tell uh, you could trade it also this kind of no rejection trading setup. I didn't have done this. Yes, because I have finished my session and when I have finished my session, I stopped trading. I leave the market. But the next candle was this. You see, it was a breakout of this uh, support and resistance level and uh, no rejection trading setup like I have explained in my ebooks. So, and the next candle was this followed by this kind of candle where this doji was showing again higher highs and higher lows yes and the last candle was this one yes and that was at the end my trading session on friday morning so again i have done this kind of trade here after i understood the support level here and i ended entered into a call trade after pre-long downtrend after reversal signal yes support trading support level entering below the closing price into a call trade here after the breakout of this box range 
I entered on a call trade on this kind of doji, on the rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band, yes, in an uptrend following the uptrend, which is explained in the highest probability trading setup in my ebox, yes. So, and then I entered on this kind of candle, which was a breakout of the round number confirmation that the uptrend is still active, yes, uh, the retracement. Then I entered on this candle, which was the exhaustion candle trade after an exhaustion candle with upper shadow, which is showing selling pressure. I entered on the rejection from above into a put, yes. And uh, after the star cloud cover and this star cloud power broke the 100, 1.1370 uh, key level, a round number, I entered on a put option after it, yes, as a reversal pattern. And then I entered again on this kind of trade. Why? Because we have done here the pullback of the one deviation Bollinger Band. And uh, that was the reason for me to do a call. And then I waited for the retracement of this kind of morning star candle. Yes. And then after this retracement of this morning star, I entered on this candle into a call. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six seven trades in 15 minutes yes only using this kind of trend stuff which i have explained here yes waiting for a reversal continuation pullbacks taking pullbacks with it yes as a trend continuation waiting for the next reversal and then doing the same stuff again that was already so let me show you the chart now so that uh, because I get so many questions from my subscribers that they want to see the chart at the end of the video. And, uh, and if you need the chart, you can send me a uh, chart 13 uh, to my email address, botobotrader at gmail.com. And uh, then I will send you the chart. So one second. Okay, here is chart 13. Yes, you see here, uh, reversal. That was my first trade. Yes, then uh, I entered here on the rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band after we were creating here higher highs and higher lows. Yes, that kind of trade rejection from the one deviation. Yes, not only below the closing price. You have to need a rejection from it to understand where's, what is going on. Here we have the breakout of the support and resistance level in form of a, a round number. And then... So, and then we got this kind of exhaustion candle. The exhaustion candle trade was uh, unfolded as a dark cloud cover. If it would have been only a retracement, I would have nearly maybe done another con trend continuation trade if this candle has stopped here exactly and this would not have been a dark cloud cover but because this dark cloud cover broke the round number you see this here i entered into a trend continuation from above to below i entered into a put option above the closing price on the rejection from the round number then i waited the pullback here in form of those dojis from the one deviation Bollinger Band. This week here was showing buying pressure at this level. So I entered into a call trade. Then I waited for the retracement of this morning star pullback from the one deviation in a major uptrend and in a minor uptrend. And then I entered on this candle here into a call too. That would be another nice trade here. That would have been another call trade. Yes, and maybe also this one would have been a nice call trade after those kind of doji also, if you didn't put here into a better entry point below the closing price of the previous candle. Yes, but uh, you were following here only the trend and that is what I tried to explain over and over again. Follow the trend till you understand that there will happen in a reversal. And only if you have some uh, evidences that a reversal will happen, you can get into a trade. So what I want to show you a part of this again, are the ebooks yes get this ebooks those kind of concepts which i have explained again in this kind of video i uh, are all based on those kind of things which i have explained in the bot price action guide and in the bot price action bible and uh, i want to uh, recommend to anybody of you to get those ebooks and if you want to increase your trading get also the video packs yes and if you are still struggling and you need a mentor uh, then join the bot mentorship program sending me an email by with the email address botobotrader at gmail.com gmail, gmail with the subject bot mentorship program and you will enroll the application process yes i will not do this for a long time anymore yes uh, but uh, um, and if you want to be mentored by me then you should move your uh, yes, move. You should move, and you, you have you should join the bot mentorship program by 
uh, enrolling the application process and by sending me this email with the um, subject bot mentorship program. So that was already. Um, and I would say if you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye bye.